Okay, fifth graders, what have we got here? We're seven, chapter seven, uh, section six, and we're estimating again. We've done a lot of that. Um, estimating fractions, uh, mixed fractions, actually. So let's see here, or mixed numbers, I should say. Um, so in this first example here, it says J uh, Jamalia's, Jamala's mom wants to make a size 10 dress and jacket. About how many yards of fabric will she need? So then it says estimate the sum of 2 and a quarter and 1 and 5 eighths to find out how many yards of fabric she needs. So here's the, the size 10 jacket. That's where they got those um, particular numbers. And so uh, down here in box B, it says one way use a number line to round the fractions and mix numbers to the nearest whole number. And so they determined that she needs about four yards of fabric. Uh, another way is to use half as a benchmark fraction. In other words, replace each fraction with the nearest half unit. So one and five eighths is very close to one and a half, and two and a quarter is halfway between two and two and a quarter. So you can replace two and a quarter with two and a half. Um, but if we're estimating, I mean, you could actually replace it with two, um, since ha one quarter is halfway between two and a half and two. Um, so in this one, they say um, uh, so two and a quarter. Uh, plus one and five eighths is about two and a half plus one and a half, which would be about about four. So let's see here. Convince me. Uh, what's the question here? It says in box C above. Why does it make sense to replace two and a quarter with two and a half um, rather than rather than two? Um, well, uh, to make sure. Um, she has enough fabric. In other words, you want to round. You'd want to round up than than down. Um, that would that would make more sense. Uh, let's see here. Guided practice. Whoops. Undo. Guided practice, next page. What have we got here? To estimate with mixed numbers, when should you round to the next uh, greater whole number? Um, that would be, um, let's see here, when the fraction part is greater than or equal to um, one half. And then it says, when should you estimate a sum or difference? Well, you estimate when you don't need an exact answer. All right. Let's see here. In three through five, it says round to the nearest whole number. Round to the nearest whole number. Um, well, let's see here for number three, two and three quarters. I mean, if I was to draw two and three quarters on a number line, here's two, here's three, here's two and one half. What would be right here? Two and three quarters. Here's two and one quarter. So um, two and three quarters right there. What's that? closer to as far as whole numbers. Is that closer to a two or closer to a three? It's obviously closer to a three. So you would round that to a three. Uh, for number four, how about uh, one and five sevenths here? So here's, here's one and here's two. 
Okay, and then we need to divide this up into sevenths. All right. So I'm going to guess here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I may have to make a change here, but that's all right. Let's take a look. Let's see how close I am here. So there's, that's one. And then this would be one and one seventh. One and two sevenths. This would be one and three sevenths. This would be one and four sevenths. And I could just say five sevenths, whoops, six sevenths, and this would be, so this would be two, because that would be the same as seven sevenths, so I can erase that, I'm trying to show you guys what, what we're doing here, so that would be also two, all right, so what's the question, um, round of the nearest whole number, five sevenths, Five sevenths would be right here. So is that closer to two or is that closer to one? It's obviously closer to two. So I was just showing you how you could use a number line if you needed to, to determine uh, what whole number they're closest to. All right, let's move down a little bit here. Independent practice. Um, use the number line to round the mixed numbers to the nearest whole numbers. So. Uh, we talked about reducing, um, and so I'm looking at number 8 here. It's 11, this is number 8, this is 11 and 4, 6. Can we reduce 4, 6? Yes. So what number goes into 4 and 6 evenly? Well, 2 does. How many times does 2 go into 4? It goes in twice. How many times does 2 go into 6? 3 times. So that's... 11 and 4 6 is the same as 11 and 2 thirds. Okay, it's just reduced. So, uh, going back over here at this number line that they've, they've given us, do you see a 2 thirds anywhere? Yeah. So, use the number line to round the, round the mixed numbers of the nearest whole number. So, 11 and 4 6 um, would be right here. This is 11 and 2 thirds. This is this one right here. So is that closer to 12 or is that closer to 11? Well, it should be obviously it's closer to, to 12. Okay. So, um, so I'll just put a 12 right here. This can be reduced. In other words, 2 eighths is the same. As, how many times does 2 go into 2? Once. How many times does 2 go into 8? Four times. So this is also... 11 and 1 quarter. And then look at 10 and look at 11. Same thing. Look at how many times does 2 go into 8 and 2 go into 12. And then uh, number 11 here. How many times does 2 go into 4 and how many times does 2 go into 10? You can reduce those. And then I think you'll probably find them up here on the number line. All right. And then 11, uh, 20 through or 12 through 20 here. Estimate each sum or difference. Sum, addition, difference, subtraction. So keep track of that. Look, here's a subtraction problem. There's a subtraction problem, subtraction problem, subtraction problem. Um, so those are the four subtraction problems. So don't get those mixed up. All right. Um, how about number, um, let's number, look at number 17, for example. So we got 12 and 8 25ths. So is 8 about halfway to 25 no no so this this would be this would be 12 we could round that to 12 and then 13 and 5 ninths well 5 ninths is that closer to 9 ninths or closer to 1 ninth you could look at it that way well, that's a little bit closer to 9 ninths so we could call that one 14 so what's 12 plus 14 that'd be 26 so 17, an estimation would be 26. Okay, last page. Problem solving. Um, use the recipes to answer the questions. Estimate how many cups of fruit trail mix the recipe can make. Um...
so uh, well so here's one full cup and then we have looks like it's three eighths of a cup and a half a cup and then a quarter cup so you're gonna you're gonna basically estimate adding those up and see if it's closer to you know like two or three cups or one or two cups or four or five cups you, you all have to, you'll have to figure that out 22 Kim is three and five eighths inches taller than Colleen if Kim is 60 and three quarter inches tall um, what is the best estimate of Colleen's height so Kim is three and five eighths inches taller than Colleen so let's let's deal with this here three and five eighths is that closer to three or closer to four uh, as far as inches it's going to be closer to four inches and it says Kim is four inches taller than Colleen if Kim is this tall 60 and three quarters and what is the best estimate of Colleen's height so you're gonna to have to subtract that because uh, Kim is this tall and she's about four inches taller than Colleen so do the subtraction there um let's see here yeah you could do 23 how about 24 cal has 1250 to spend he wants to ride the roller coaster twice and the ferris wheel once does he have enough money well so there's the cost of the ferris wheel there's the cost of the roller coaster roller coaster and the roller coaster is going on twice and the ferris wheel looks like just once so you guys could do that and then 25 and 26 looks like it's multiple choice you can do that okay that's it you guys um and we will grade uh this on tuesday morning talk to you later